Hi guys, I'm Buck Weezer. We're putting the do into do-it-yourself. And I'm here with the hood to a 1998 Scotts lawn tractor. It belongs to a buddy of mine and he's a fan of the Philadelphia Flyers. As am I. We have that in common. This has a twin cylinder Briggs and Stratton engine. It'll start easily and sound okay but when you move that throttle past half, half, you know, past halfway at full throttle, it bogs down as if it's going to stall. And then it recovers itself. And then it does it again. Bogs down as if to stall, but recovers itself. And then repeats. This is intolerable. It's not running well. I had put two brand new spark plugs in it. So the first thing I did was to remove those spark plugs Looking at those two spark plugs should have been enough to tip me off about what was going on with this tractor, but I'm not that swift. So I want you to join me as I walk you through the diagnos diagnostic process that I followed, which led me to a very surprising diagnosis. One of the first things I did was to look at the spark plugs. Now I had installed new spark plugs just doing some general engine maintenance and uh, I'd like to take these out and show them to you. I'm going to call this cylinder number one. I don't know if it's one or two but I'm calling it number one. This is the uh, so it's on the left as you're sitting in the driver's seat. I'm calling that number one. Now I don't know if you can see this here, but my first observation is that this spark plug, while brand new, I'm not sure if you can see that, is already fouled up, very black, dark. And that could be an indication of something. But I want you, I also should mention to you, it's really hot. I can't really touch it with my bare hands because it's, it's just hot from running and that side of the engine is obviously firing now let's come over to this side I'd like you to compare that last plug with this plug and I'll mention to you unlike the other side which was too hot to touch with my bare hands This guy's not hot at all. And if we can see him, you see him? Look at the tip of that spark plug. Uh, completely clean, especially as compared to the other one. Let's look at it. Let's look at them both together, side by side. Again, this guy's hot, so we'll hold him in the spark plug socket. Not sure if it's going to focus for us. Okay, so cylinder number one on the right, black and charred after just a few minutes of running. Cylinder number two on the spark plug here on the left, clean and beautiful. So something's telling me one of these is not working as it should, and it would seem to be this guy, which why he is completely cold and the spark plug completely clean. So after taking a look at those two spark plugs I decided we should uh, verify that the ignition system is working. Maybe the one cylinder is not firing. Maybe we got a bad coil on that cylinder number two. So I brought the tractor here inside the shed where it's out of the sun and I want to plug in this spark tester it's the kind that lights up and then we'll fire it up and see if it's firing <clears throat> and then we'll do the other side as well so hopefully it'll be dark enough in here we'll be able to see that try to zoom in on that see if that's going to uh spark for us. Oop, i kicked you all right let's try this again and see if it uh Sparks. Oh, 
Okay, no question there. We got spark on that side. Let's bring it over to the other side and see what it's like. So that was the side. That side was clearly getting spark. Is the side with the uh, blackened out spark plug. This is the side of beautiful clean spark plug. I'm wondering if this asking myself is it firing on this side so we'll fire it up again and see what we got on this side we'll zoom in there are you ready So guess what? We don't have an ignition problem. Both sides are getting spark exactly as they should. Is it a bad spark plug? Uh, believe me, I swapped it out and tried it. Both plugs are good on both sides. So our ignition system is working fine. So what's our next approach? Well, my thought, since it's bogging down at full throttle, like it's getting too much fuel, maybe we got a carburetor issue. So that's what I tackled next. Well, it's obviously getting fuel because it's running, but is it getting enough fuel? Is the fuel pump putting out fuel enough? I asked that question. So I disconnected this the, the line that comes from the fuel pump um, and uh, cranked the engine. Um, the fuel pump does fine. It puts out a nice uh, solid stream of fuel, so that's not it. I decided to take the carburetor down and clean it thoroughly. You can see, looking at it right now, it's uh, it's really clean on the outside. It's uh, exactly clean on the inside too because I put it through the ultrasonic cleaner, um, and I just worked hard to clean it out as thoroughly as I could. So what happened? I installed the carburetor, clean, fired the tractor up again. Same thing bogging down anything over half throttle full throttle that that bogging down like it's going to die it continued and uh, so I wasn't done with the carburetor so let me try a, another carburetor a replacement carburetor because I just happen to have one of these engines sitting on my workbench what are the odds right now this one's a little bit newer I think it's from 2003 but I took the carburetor off of this guy, I cleaned him out thoroughly, rebuilt it, put it back up on the tractor, guess what? Even with the replacement carburetor, the same problem persisted. So I began to think, uh, I guess it doesn't have anything to do with carburation because we got clean carburetors that are working well and a good fuel pump, good fuel. It's got to be something else. Well, guys, I'm not a professional mechanic. I'm a backyard DIYer, as is completely obvious. As you, if you watch my videos and and uh, even listen to me now, I I began to think maybe there's something wrong mechanically with the engine. Um, uh, it takes me longer sometimes to think through work through a problem maybe you've got it figured out in your mind already I decided to take out take down the valve covers they're on now but I took them down to adjust the valves or take a look to see if there's a stuck valve or a bent push rod or something that would call my attention to a potential problem I adjusted the valves on this side and nothing seems to be amiss there and then I took down this valve cover, moved the fuel pump out of the way, and I was going to adjust the valves as I, again, I did not see anything amiss, anything that grabbed my attention. So I wanted to put the, uh, to adjust the valves, I wanted to put the piston at top dead center, so I did the old screwdriver through the spark plug hole trick, and that's where things began to get clear for me. I'll show you what I mean. So to adjust the valves, as you as you might know, you want to put this, the piston at top dead center. 
and you can stick a screw just remove the spark plug stick a screwdriver down the spark plug hole until the top of your screwdriver encounters the top of the piston and then turning the engine by hand you know as the as the piston moves up in the cylinder it pushes your screwdriver out and when it goes no further when it's out as as far as it'll go you'll you know you're a top dead center so here's what happened screwdriver in in contact with the top of the piston I'm turning the engine by hand look at my screwdriver it's not moving it's not going in at all it's not coming out at all I thought holy cow the pistons not moving inside the cylinder I got out my flashlight up here down that spark plug hole and sure enough as I turn this engine by hand there's no movement of that piston inside a cylinder number two well that was the moment when I realized that our diagnosis was complete and definitive we've got mechanical damage inside the engine I, I I'm guessing a broken connecting rod I imagine the broken pieces are laying in the sump and in the oil pan at the bottom of the engine and so we've only been running on one cylinder that that explains of course why the spark plug on cylinder number two was completely clean and cold not warm at all to the touch there's been no explosion in there there's been no combustion there's been no compression so we've only been running on the cylinder number one I'm kind of surprised because even with just one cylinder there was no in to my ear no audible way to discern that we were only you know only riding on one cylinder it sounded normal it sounded right it's idles beautifully I think this probably also explains the bogging down that we experience because all of the fuel through this carburetor that's designed to be sucked into is designed to be shared uh, by two cylinders is being sucked all to the one and I think it's just getting too much fuel so we got that fouled up spark plug and that bogging down under load well what would you do with a tractor uh, a, a motor from 1998 or 99 is 23 or 24 years old for a backyard DIYer I'm kind of curious about opening up this engine and seeing about fixing it I actually have done that on a similar engine same Briggs V twin uh, in a video that I called D DIY engine rebuild um, but if you're the owner of this tractor and it's 23 or 24 years old you're not going to pay somebody to rebuild your motor it's it's probably it's probably time to to say goodbye so i don't know what my my buddy's going to do probably needs to just face the face the music and buy himself a, a new tractor or replace this one i'd like the chance to open it up and go about fixing it that would be enjoyable for me so if you got a tractor that's showing that same symptom of sounding okay starting okay but bogging down under load and appearing to to stall out um, now you know some of the things to check hopefully that process that I went through has been of value to you and uh, no happy ending to, to this one but except in the sense that now we know exactly what the problem is and why we were having these these issues with the engine in, in that sense it feels good to have have solved it what do you think I'd like to hear your comments and questions if you put them in the discussion below that will be I'll, that'll be great I appreciate that thanks for watching um, uh, I look forward to seeing you all on our next video bye bye